Hello gamers, I am Tigwick, and tonight we're going to play with Voice Meter Banana. If you haven't heard of Voice Meter Banana before, it is the pumped up on steroids version of Voice Meter by the VB Audio Software guys. Um, fantastic, fantastic pieces of software for manipulating sort of like virtual um, sound devices on your computer and, and kind of moving sounds, routing sounds to places that they wouldn't normally be able to go easily in Windows. Um, so uh, I know that sounds very complex and vague, um, but let's take a look at, at the actual software so I can, I can kind of flesh it out for you. So basically, you have three hardware inputs that Voice Meter Banana accepts. That's three hardware inputs like a USB headset would be a good choice because it actually pops up as a sound device on your computer. Um, any microphone inputs that you can plug into, either a sound card that you have or um, a, a USB device. For instance, I have a, a Focusrite uh, Scarlett Solo. Uh, you can plug things into it and, uh, you know, for instance, like XLR microphones, like the one I'm talking into, as well as other devices, those show up as sound devices. You can pipe all of those through Voice Meter Banana, so uh, up to three of them at a time. For instance, I can select my microphone. So here is my microphone. The microphone in the webcam, there it is. Okay. And if I had a third piece of hardware, um, such as a different headset plugged in or something, perhaps it would show up here, but... Uh, or a microphone plugged into my sound card, because I'm not actually using my sound card input, so I could do that too. So if you have a group of people, if you have three separate individuals in a room and you want to record them into your computer somehow, this is an easy way to do that as long as you have enough um, plugs on your, like physical plugs on your computer to accept these. You can pipe them through Voice Meter Banana and the output, you could simply record them to an audio file here with the Voice Meter Banana interface where it just asks you for like a WAV file to stick it out to. Then you hit the record button here and it'll just produce it for you. Or you can use the outputs from Voice Meter Banana to pipe them into other software, which is actually really cool. Um, when you combine that with the fact that Voice Meter Banana also allows you to um, virtually input stuff into it, so it has three hardware inputs, it has two virtual inputs that you can tell your other programs to output their sound to, and that means that Voice Meter Banana will accept that sound and do something with it. In this case, I'm only, as you can see, speakers here, hardware out, I'm only really um, pumping out the sound that comes through Voice Meter Banana to my speakers, which then um, you're hearing, because that's my desktop audio, and to B1, which is just one of the um, virtual interfaces, and I don't think I have any program that is using that. I know that's really complex, but it allows you to do some neat things. The simplest we talked about was simply having three separate hardware microphones that you would like to connect to your computer and have people um, heard at the same time. That is simply probably the easiest thing you can do with Voice Meter Banana, and that is simply clicking on Hardware Input 1 and you select your microphone. Hardware Input 2, you select your microphone. Hardware Input 3, you select your microphone. As long as those are all set and you can see the uh, volume bouncing up and down when you speak into all three of them, you can then uh, hit the record button on here and start talking and, and it will go into a file. That is the easiest thing you can do with Voice Meter Banana, is to record multiple hardware inputs at the same time to a file. The second easiest is probably um, sending those, all three people, to something like Discord or Skype. So let's do that. I've got Discord open here, as you can see, and I've got my input devices. I've got, basically, I'm on the, where am I? I'm on the voice option, or the voice um, uh, section of the user settings. And under the input device, it's currently um, set to my Scarlett Solo. That's what my microphone's plugged into. That's what you're hearing me talking to is a Scarlett Solo. Uh, the output device is my speakers. I can hear people in Discord via my speakers. That's just how I have it set up. Uh, you don't need to change the output because I would still like to hear Discord in the speakers, but I'm going to change my input device from a way, basically, I'm choosing one of Voice Meter's virtual outputs. Whatever comes through Voice Meter will go out that output and into whatever program I tell it to, and this is where I can tell it to do that. So now in my input list, because I've installed Voice Meter, I have these outputs that Voice Meter has. Uh, before, I didn't have these, but now I do, and these are literally the raw audio that comes out of voice meter when you put things into voice meter. So you have to have both sides. You have to have things going into voice meter, such as your microphone, or 
music from a different program, and you have to have things coming out of voice meter somewhere, whether it's your speakers, and then you don't have to touch these programs, or you have the output going into something like Discord, and now the magic is really cool. So if I choose Discord, if I choose my voice meter output in Discord, that, so that voice meter output is going to be whatever I tell voice meter to input. So I haven't done that yet. Remember, we've only done the Discord side. We're telling Discord, whatever voice meter sends, you just pretend that that's what's, what's my voice. That, that's me talking. We're going to pretend that that's just me, right? What it's actually going to be is not just my microphone, but say I have somebody with me. I have two people, two microphones. What you see now is my two microphones, my main microphone I'm talking into that you can hear me right now, and my microphone on my webcam, which is a few feet away from me. Both of these microphones are going into Discord, and you can tell because Discord is lit up, I'm talking into Discord right now. So Discord is actually receiving my voice twice. It probably sounds really weird if anybody was actually in the room with me right now. Uh, but that's because I the input for voice meter banana that I've said is two microphones. I've said voice meter banana, take my two microphones and send them to your outputs because that's what you normally do. And because my outputs are set to my speaker so I can hear it, which I've, I've turned off that here so we're not interfering with that. But the virtual output is still going and that's what this B1 interface is here. I know that these are cryptic but A1 is your main hardware um, out and that's just my speaker so I can hear whatever I'm doing in voice meter banana. I can monitor it. I can make sure that it's the right thing is going through it. A2 and 3 are other hardware outs if you happen to have other things you want to send the, the noise out to that are physical on your computer. Another sound card, uh, a monitoring speaker setup, another you know a mixer of some sort, whatever you want. Um, the B's are the virtual interfaces and that's what you send sound out to other programs on your computer and that's what we're doing with Discord and that's why this is working because remember in Discord I clicked the button here under voice to choose voice meter output as my input my microphone in Discord is voice meter and since I'm sending two microphones to voice meter it's sending both of those to Discord. If I wanted to add a third person, I could just click here and add another hardware input microphone, and I could have another person sitting next to me talking into their own microphone, talking into Discord as my single user, which, if they don't want to have to get on to multiple Discords, multiple people signed in from multiple places, that is a really easy way to do it, as long as everybody kind of knows that there's three people talking through you, right? That is, uh, you know, that's a fun thing that you can do. There's other things you can do with Voice Meter Banana, and I'm sure that in the next video we'll have to get into those, but this has already uh, gone a little longer than I expected simply because of the complexity of sound routing. And, and I'm, I, to keep in mind, I'm still a layman when it comes to the actual um, sound technical parts. I just happen to know how computers work and how this stuff works and how the sound devices do their thing. And, um, and as long as everything's functioning properly and recognizes each other, any program that allows you to set a microphone or the device for the speakers, you should be able to mess with that program and, and tell it to output into voice meter or from voice meter from your microphone if you want to play with like piping uh, Skype and Discord through one thing, out through another thing. You can pipe Skype through one interface and out into Discord so people on Discord can hear Skype. Just the crazy number of things you can do, and I'm sure in the next video we'll get into that. But this right now should give you an idea of of kind of what Voice Meter Banana can do, and, and right there in front of you, you have a way to do it. I've given you an example of how to set that up right there. If you enjoy that, please do hit the like button below, leave a comment, or subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. I will happily talk to you in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.